it's me, Madison, and I can't believe it's already October. And that means October means Halloween. Halloween means Halloween videos. Yeah, that means a lot of work on doing this. So the first look is going to be this honeycomb beehive. So, so the first look was inspired by why Ellie Max, and then they did produce a lot of um, Halloween videos for like makeup. And so if you don't know who they are, I'll leave their link in the description box. But basically I saw one of these videos, they made a honeycomb look and it was like on her face and then they had little beads and everything and I really liked the idea of that. So I decided let's do our best to recreate it. So, and so basically we trimmed it down to where it would fit my face and this is basically an idea on what it's going to look like. So it's a cover your eye and everything. You can make it smaller or bigger however you want it. But I chose to mine all over the like half of my face. So yeah. So next thing, so you need that and then you need some liquid latex to attach it. So first we need to attach this to my face. So I'm going to cover my eyebrows and some of my hairline with Vaseline so I, it won't stick to there. So you can just get any kind of Vaseline. And you're asking why do we do this? this uh, why I'm putting Vaseline on my eyebrow is because I don't want to lose my eyebrow. So, so, so now I'm going to put the Vaseline over here and like up here. This is so gross. I'm going to have to take a shower. Now I put the Vaseline on my hairline, I'm going to get the honeycomb and get some liquid latex and put it on my face. And I'm going to have to have some help because I'm only 12, so my mom is going to help me. We cut the bottom part off so it's it was a little bit too big. And so now we are going to, it's like, like it has sharp edges, so we're gonna get tissue and latex and then we'll make sure it blends into my face. Now that we got the latex and tissue, we're gonna let that dry and we'll be right back. So now it's, it's dry, so it's time to paint. So we have these acrylic paints that we got from Michaels and these are matte, they dry matte. So yeah, so you're gonna get your little makeup wedges and then you need these little paint trays and I went ahead and put the paint. You need a mustard yellow and just a regular yellow. And so I'm gonna start And I'll be right back when it's all done because it's going to take a while. So that's what it looks like when you get the paint on there. Mm -hmm. So after you do the whole thing with the mustard yellow, I'm going to go in with this lighter yellow. And then I'm going to start doing like the center. And I'll be right back when this is all done.
I'm gonna go with my Makeup Forever palette and I'm gonna get some of this brown and then this brown. So then, then I'm gonna put it in the holes to give it some depth. I can't tell if I'm doing anything. So now that we got that done, it looks, it's looking pretty good, but now we need to have some gore. So we're going to go in with some fake blood. I'm using the red blood gel. You can get these at Party City and then the blood fix. And I put it in my little tray. I'm not going to look it up because I'm afraid it might spill. So I'm going to get it with the Q-tip. I'm going to start with this and I'm going to start putting it in the holes. This one's not gonna work. This doesn't show up that much. So now we have the honeycomb so far the way we want it. So now we're going to get these bees and hot glue them to the honeycomb. And if you want to know how we make this, we got these Elmore plastic. I'll leave the link down below. And we molded it into a little bee. So now that you know how to make these, we're going to get the beads, bees, and my mom's going to hug them to my face. So we got the bees glued on. So here's what it looks like. And... Now you can, this can be your final look or you can go glam like with false eyelashes and a makeup look or you can act like you're like kind of like, you have the life taken out of you, like you're a zombie basically and get some gray eyeshadow and that's what I'm going to do. Well that looks good because I still have that purple underneath. So that's the eye. Now I'm gonna get some concealer and put it on my lips because if you're sick or something like that, you don't have color. So. So now that we have my lips like that, I'm gonna go put some blood in the corners so it looks like I'm sick. So here's, I really like how it turned out. And comment down below if you try to recreate this and how did it turn out or tag me on Instagram with the hashtag Miss Clipper 12 Halloween 2017 and then we will like it comment and yeah and tag me too my Instagram is Miss Clipper 12 and we'll repost it on our page I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not already click the bell leave a like and I'll see you guys next time on Miss Clipper 12 bye